question is, what is your biblical theory on the UFO being chariots of fire or chariots of Yah? Fire was taken up in. And you know, if anyone had seen those chariots of fire today, they would have considered them to be a UFO. Now, hold on. Now, he just said Elijah was taken up in the chariot of fire. But hold on. Let's get the scripture because y'all missing something. You missing something out of that. Second Kings 2 and 11. Now watch this. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire. Now, my question is to you, first of all, you say the chariot and the horses are representative of the UFO, but why would he call it horses? But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. Now, this wasn't no nuclear missile because they like to say that wind represents an ICBM, which is not so. The Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. Matter of fact, let me look up that word real quick. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. Now, this wasn't no nuclear missile because they like to say that wind represents an ICBM, which is not so. The Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. Matter of fact, let me look up that word real quick. Matter of fact, let me look up that word real quick. Matter of fact, let me look up that word real quick. Matter of fact, let me look up that word real quick. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Raka Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom to the elect. And the brothers that's laboring in sincerity, pushing this truth out of sound doctrine, okay, and going into the sound doctrine, um, I'm kind of doing a response off of um, Elder Yasha Wamba's video. It's called Some Preach for Strife and Vainglory. That's probably not what I'm going to title it, but it's still a kind of a response off of that. Okay, uh, these guys is bugged the hell out, man. I mean, when you have a foundation to start on and you build and grow on that foundation, as the scriptures go into the, the, uh, the foundation, um, when, it, when you lose that foundation, now you have to build on the beach house, <laughs> on sand, okay? They're not built on the rock, okay? These guys, when the next storm comes, it just wipes it away and they got to start over with a new doctrine. And they keep trying to build a new foundation and it keeps getting destroyed and it gets worse and worse and worse. Okay, so uh, how wicked can this guy get, man? Okay, and uh, all of these guys, okay, the, the, his compadres. Um, uh, Yasha Baba made an excellent point. Uh, these, these guys don't believe in um, the uh, America being Babylon. They think it's Vat the Vatican. But there's no videos going up saying, hey, the Vatican is going to be destroyed. Well, now he doesn't even believe in a uh, nuclear fire almost. He doesn't even believe in the missiles is what I'm getting. Because in this, in his uh, his video, he said something about it's not missiles as the you guys teach. Well, what, you know, again, this, this guy has no foundation. You get mad, but at the same time, this guy is wacky. He's like a wacky, tacky Christian, okay? Uh, he has no substance. He's bringing nothing to the table. Um, anyway, this is Jeremiah 5 and 28. And before I get that scripture, I'll go to Matthew 13. This scripture should be almost plastered in any brother head that's in his truth. Uh, Matthew 13 and, and I think 9 through 11, when Yahweh was speaking to the disciples, he said, it is given to you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Part of the kingdom of heaven is the chariots. Part of the kingdom of heaven is the missiles. Part of the kingdom of heaven is the natural disasters and everything else that comes along with getting to the kingdom. Why is that part of the kingdom? Because that's how we're going to get there. Okay? But to the rest, it is not given. Okay? So, these you had people who knew they were Israelites and some got it and some didn't and this guy clearly doesn't get it okay this guy clearly doesn't get it Jeremiah 5 28 they are waxing fat they shine 
yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Okay? And that's these that's this guy, man. Uh, uh goes on to say they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. These guys are not out to try to reach the elect. They have no intention to uh, get on board and try to teach our people. All their videos is how deep you are and how great they are. Really, this is what this is. is a spoiled child that couldn't get his way. That's all it is. When you look at children, they do the same thing. When they can't get their way and they're mad at their uh, superior or whatever the case is, they pout and put their lip out and sit in a corner. But except in this case... Uh, he talks trash, okay? So, really, what's happening is the spirit of Satan has consumed him. And that's why I have, and I don't never put horns on an Israelite head, but this guy, this is one of the first uh, uh, is in any video I've ever done through the spirit of Yahabashim Yahabashah. This guy must have horns, man. This guy's a devil, okay? That's why I read this scripture. They passed the deeds of the wicked. So we call the so-called white man the devil. You got niggas like this are super devils, man. This guy is a super devil. Except he doesn't have the power, okay, to uh, bring this nation, this, this nation down, okay? We do through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring this nation down, man. But through us is the power given. Okay, and Lord willing, I'm the hopefully elect. But this guy has no substance, no balance. Every doctrine changes every week. I've never seen nothing like that. I've seen scoffers go bad and they get worse. Then they will it away, and they say they're hanging up their uh, their garments, or or they throwing them in the trash. I don't know. And then they disappear. <clears throat> okay, so uh, <clears throat> this guy also goes on to say that. Um, why does it say chariots and horses? Uh, doesn't this, this guy understand what a horse does? A horse travels. A horse is for traveling. It's that simple. It's all a horse is. Okay? Everybody knows it in all the western movies <laughs> and anything else. Okay? Now, even in the law today, if you steal a car or have unauthorized used a motor vehicle, of a motor vehicle, you know what they'll charge you with? Unauthorized use of livestock. Go look it up. Okay? That's what they uh, they do. Okay? Um, now, when it, uh, I'm going to go on to verse Jeremiah 5 and 28. It says, Yet they prosper, and at the right of the needy do they not judge. Okay? This guy, if he could, he'll build his own church. He'll make money teaching lies which makes him worse he was in the truth okay this is why I don't really go on guys that was in the truth unless they go off on the doctrine okay if they want to go into all the other GMS is this and GMS is that that's all good I don't get all into that but when it goes off on this doctrine this guy him and uh, Nazariah or uh, whoever this other guy is which I've seen um America is the, uh, not Babylon, but it's the Vatican. These are guys that want, they're jealous. And I, I say it, and I've always said, I, I, I talk to Apostle Ricard about this all the time when I speak with him. I, I said, I've noticed that when a lot of guys go up uh, to sit with the apostles or go up to the, the top teachers, if they're not right, they fall out, man. If anything not right about you, you're gonna, the Lord is going to judge you. Now, how is this proving that these are men of the Lord? Because if they weren't right and they were still going up there, then guess what? Nothing would happen. I've seen guys in this camp. I've seen guys in several camps go up to the main camp and they fall out. I'm talking about within a year. I looked at this pattern, man, and this is what I've seen. I've looked at that pattern. And when they fall out, they get worse. The jealousy on these guys of not being top teachers is killing them. This is why they're coming with the new doctrine. It's because they're jealous. And I can see it and I feel it in their spirit. Okay? I've even heard 
uh, kind of guys have jealousy, jealous words, uh, well, which I'm not going to say any names, of saying things off contrary to doctrine because the apostles can't be right. Okay? Now in the future, by the Lord's will, I'll do a video uh, going into trusting in man. Okay? You have to know when it's man or when it's the spirit. A lot of people think that because you, you're you taught what you're taught, and we say they uh, double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone, which really, we're just referencing the doctrine that Yahweh Shem Yahshua bestowed. But, at the same time, you have to learn from a man. Okay? So what does that scripture mean? That scripture is talking about when you trust in a man, somebody that's making up their own doctrine. The Lord is not an author of confusion, as in one of his titles he said. So, if the Lord was dealing with him, and he has to understand that the Lord has done with individuals, but he also done with people leading the nation. So if the Lord is dealing with this guy, where is all the other disciples and followers that are going out and teaching what's to come? Where are they at? Okay? You know, it sounds all good with the cookout music in the background. Okay? But you have no substance, man. Okay? There's no substance coming from this guy. Okay? Uh, this is Titus 1 and 10. For, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. There's guys that's in the truth. Not just him. There's other guys that's going to branch off and do exactly what this guy's doing, man. Goes on to say, whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses. These guys will subvert a whole camp. Okay? And they've done it. <laughs> they have guys come in uh, to, a, to a camp and they will take those guys out of the camp and follow their own doctrines. You know why they do this too, man? Because it's easy. It's easy. When you're not in the truth, you're not under any kind of order or banner. And I noticed that by a lot of guys that 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 are not in camps or that, that are not followers of the doctrine. It's easy. So now you can make up an excuse to eat crabs if you want. Or shrimp. Now you can make up an excuse to, to be an adulterer. And at the same time want to jump on board and be saved. Okay? Now you can do all these things that you've always wanted to do yet in the truth. But as I said before, you cannot have the elect without the non-elect. These guys are serving a purpose. And I've said that for a long time. These men that are doing this are serving a purpose. It's to sharpen our sword, keep us in the spirit, and give us somebody to fight against. Because if we don't have them, it becomes boring. And you know the Lord don't like a boring show. Everything is dramatic in his show. Okay? Until the ending. Okay? And that's when everything's going to be in order. Okay, it goes on to say, um, um, teaching things which they are not for filthy lucre's sake. And who knows, and lucre meaning, uh, I believe in the Greek, kurdos, uh, which means to gain advantages. Okay? That's what these guys are, are out here to doing. Okay? Let's go to 2 Timothy 3. I want to make this quick. 13. It says, But evil men and seducers <laughs> shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's what they're doing, man. Now, when it says deceiving and being deceived, what they're doing is they're being deceived by doctrines that they've learned so what he does is he hook up with anybody that has, has a problem with Great Millstone and everybody come with their new doctrine and then he's deceived by the, the new doctrine because they're not uh, followers of, the, of Great Millstone I'm going to just say of this doctrine and then what they'll do is go teach it to somebody else and they'll get deceived it's kind of like the walking dead whoever gets bit they become who you are who they are and it, and it travels and it travels okay these guys ain't nothing but the walking dead. Okay? They've been infestated <laughs> by demons. Okay? And poisons. You know? I mean, in, anybody who sits here looking like this, man, and with these these new doctrines just floating out of the woodworks, this is, there's definitely 
uh, there's definitely a problem, man. Okay? Uh, and we read it again. But evil men are seducers, wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Okay? And verse 14 says, But continue thou in things which thou hast learned. Is, that, is, is any of these guys doing that? Absolutely not. They have not continued what they have learned and has been assured of to say the chariots aren't they're not in the Bible and what he's saying is the Lord using his miraculous winds just to uh, do certain things which the Lord could do what he want but at the same time when it comes to this realm there's, there's laws that the Lord deal with on certain things he controls all laws okay so uh, this is a physical realm so he used the chariots to come in his physical realm and do what he does. It's just that simple. Okay, Isaiah 55 says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. His thoughts are not ours. And especially not you guys, man. Okay? You, you guys aren't thinking for the long haul. You guys are not trying to get out of here, man. You guys do not have the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? Now we all have issues and may go off here or there but that's where prayer comes in and we can clearly see for anybody who's looking at videos like this you better pray you, you have to pray you can get weak which I have and other brothers have everybody does especially if you're the elect hopefully elect or you in this truth you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get weak things are going to happen and if you're not careful you'll be carried away in every wind to and fro of every doctrine. Okay? That's all I have on that. Shallow wall.